Okay, uh, normally I show you folks things that are, uh, you know, appropriate for outdoorsmen of all sorts, you know, hikers and campers and backpackers and mountain bikers, canoeists, etc., etc., etc. You know, people who, people who spend time in the great outdoors. Um, this item is a little bit different than what I normally talk about but I also think that uh, it's quite appropriate for some of the same sort of people but not necessarily when they're performing those same sort of act. What we have here is the next grill two burner tabletop grill. Um, why I say that I think that this is appropriate for uh, all of those sort of uh, outdoorsmen I was just talking about is because those same sort of people, you know, participate in other activities that take them outside. Uh, you know, tailgating at a ball game or possibly, you know, an overnight camp out in the backyard with the nieces and nephews or maybe a little short trip to the park or car camping. Uh, this sort of an item is really fits the bill for all of that. Um, this is this is a really nice little grill for not a whole lot of money. Okay, now let's get right into the specifications and details. I'm going to move the camera a little bit so that we can get a closer look at some of these parts, and we'll talk about what this is, how it works, uh, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then we this might even one cook of the some. things I like the best about this unit. It has two 8,000 BTU burners for a total of 16,000. In small grills like this, uh, even ones that are, you know, that are up on, on stands and wheels that you can drag around your deck and whatnot, um, even, even larger, physically larger, but small framed, you know, small cooking space grills, a lot of times they'll have a single 20,000 or two 12,000s or two 16,000s in them, and you just can't get them cool enough with the lid shut. Uh, this one, the heat distributes very nicely, and it turns down to a nice low. Uh, I really appreciate that. That'll keep you from burning okay, things. Let's go over the specifications away. and details. Uh, talk about how this is made and what it's made out of. Um, first of all, as you can see, it is made out of stainless steel, and pretty much all of this device is made out of stainless steel. Uh, the lid, the handle, the interior cook box, and the uh, the burners themselves are all stainless steel. The outer portions, a uh, nice brushed finish stainless steel. Um, you can see in here in the lid that that is a mirror finish stainless steel. And um, the heat spreaders are a nice stainless steel heat spreader. They call these flame tamers, but uh, these are a heat spreader. I, I don't know, you know, I suppose that's a marketing sort of thing that they've given them the name flame tamer. Uh, these go down over top of your burners to uh, their, their heat spreaders. Uh, this, the cooking grate is also a really nice heavy stainless steel. And about the only part in the whole device that is not is the drip tray. Uh, this drip tray appears to be a steel construction and then it's coated with some sort of a non-stick. Uh, 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 I don't know if it's a paint or it's been dipped, but it's some sort of a very slippery non-stick surface on this, uh, on this drip tray. Uh, while we're at the drip tray, this is one of my favorite features. Uh, this slides in underneath the cooking box, and uh, where a lot of bar, you know, a lot of gas grills and other grills have a hole cut in the bottom of them, and a slope down to get to that hole, and then you hang a soup can under that for uh, for a grease catch. Um, you know that really. Uh, I'm sure you've had the same experience with that as I have. That tends to be messy. It doesn't tend to work very well. 
And um, you know, it's it's really hard to, uh, hard to keep good control of your grease when it's dripping down a piece of wire, hopefully into a can. Uh, this nice, generously sized drip tray goes over goes under the entire uh, the entire cook box, so it works very very well. I like it. Um, also, easy to clean uh, because of that non-stick, and then because it's so easy to remove. Um, dishwasher, you know, sized item, you can clean it in the dishwasher. Uh, same with the uh, heat spreaders. They just set in here. There's a little shelf for each one of them. Again, they call these flame tamers, but they are heat spreaders. There's a little shelf on both sides of each of the, uh, of each of the burners to allow you a place to put these. It's a nice stable place to put these. And then the stainless steel cook rack um, just drops into its own slot right here on the top. Okay, the dimensions and some of the other features. On its legs, when its legs are extended, this device is 16 inches tall. Uh, the cook box and the control panel together uh, is 17 inches deep, so it's 17 inches front to back. Um, again, on its legs, it's, uh, it's 16 inches tall. And then the width across the front here is uh, also 16 inches. So you've got a 16 by 16 by uh, by 17 inches. And then all the way out to the end of the uh, control knobs, it's actually 19 inches deep. And if we add the length of the connector for the, uh, for the hose that goes to the propane tank, it is 17 and a half inches wide. So if you need to fit this in any specific place, uh, 17 and a half inches wide gets you to the end of the uh, connector for the propane tank hose. And then uh, uh, the, depth, the depth becomes, uh, excuse me, the depth becomes 19 inches uh, deep. Okay, so now, um, good time to have a look at these fold-up legs. These have snap keepers on both sides. You have to fold the left leg before you fold the right leg to get these into place. And then that makes this a much shorter device to have, you know, maybe in the trunk of your car or wherever else you might pack it. And it gets it right down to a 12 inches high. So this is now only a 12 inches high with the legs folded up. So this packs down really nice to save you some space when you're taking it with you, maybe to the park or you know, going car camping and those sort of The hose for the propane tank is a generous 38 inches long, and this is threaded for a regular, uh, a regular 20 pound or larger propane tank. It's, it's got the, the regular threads on it. Uh, there is some confusion when they, you know, when you go to buy this online or even in the store, uh, well, g generally, when you go go to buy it online, they recommend to you to uh, also buy some one pound, uh, one pound propane bottles with it. Uh, the one pound bottles have a much smaller connector, and this does not come with the adapter. Next Grill makes an adapter that they will sell you for some more money if you want to use some. Uh, if you want to use some one pound tanks and then the universal uh, the universal adapter that you can find in most hardware stores and big box stores also works just fine to convert this to a one pound tank. There are lever snaps on both sides of this device to uh, keep the lid down when, when this is traveling, when you're carrying it, when it's in the trunk of your car. 
uh, to help you from, you know, to help keep you from making a mess, I suppose. Uh, there is just a little bit of room under this lid, so you could put your bar, your, you know, your your normal scraper and and maybe a uh, you know a barbecue flipper uh, under this lid, and then lock the lid down on both sides to be able to carry it. You know, fold the legs up, set it in the trunk of the car, and away you go. Okay, so what this what this unit lacks um, you know I said I'd tell you that there might be something I didn't like about this unit it, it's not that I don't like it because I don't mind this this feature being missing but uh, this particular unit this next grill tabletop has no uh, thermometer built into the lid you, you won't find a thermometer here that uh, permanently affixed to this device to uh, tell you how hot the cook box is getting um, you know having one is nice uh, that's true having a having a, uh, a thermometer on the outside of your lid is nice uh, those things aren't always all that accurate and some people prefer to just use meat thermometers and also um, uh, you know you can get a surface thermometer for six or seven dollars on Amazon or eBay that you can put anywhere on your cook surface and always have a good reading of how much heat is actually in contact with what you're cooking so you know there are ways around that for not a whole lot of money um, it might have been nice if they'd have put one in here. There are a lot of competing models, uh, not at this price tag though. There, you know, the there's one from Weber that I've seen when I've been out in some of the some of the home improvement box stores that has one that's a little bit bigger than this unit, and that thing's half again as much money. Uh, there's one from uh, from Coleman that is a nice unit like this and about this size also about half again as much money uh, this sells for around a hundred dollars and I think you're getting a whole lot of nice grill for a hundred bucks with this even without that thermometer I'm perfectly okay using meat thermometers for meat when I've got meat on something like this or uh, you know I may pick up a surface thermometer I you know, I, I may do that myself. That might be nice for cooking vegetables and other things. Um, this is a very small cook box, so one of the things you probably won't be doing much of is um, indirect cooking. Uh, you know, on, on a bigger grill, you can have one or two, you know, let's say you've got a three or four burner grill, you could have two of the burners on and then put potatoes in tin foil or something like that over, you know, on, this, on a side where there's no burner running and do use it more like an oven. You aren't going to do a whole lot of that sort of thing with a, with a device like this. The burners are very close together, uh, so even if you were just running one, uh, it doesn't leave you a whole lot of room where there isn't uh, direct heat coming up under under what you're cooking. So you know, even though I think it's possible in a narrow strip on either side, uh, if you're using one burner or the other, I, I do think it's possible to do some indirect cooking. You don't have a lot of cook surface left over. All right, so I think we've gotten a pretty thorough look at this. Um, you know, it, it, it lights immediately. It's easy to clean. Um, the burners are appropriate for the size of this cook box, uh, more appropriate than a lot of other small cook box uh, uh, gas grills that I've used, you know, whether they're on stands with wheels or whether they're tabletop like this or whether they're built into things. Uh, I think that these 8,000 BTU burners are much more appropriate than a lot of other, a lot of other units I've seen. Um, this is very portable, weighing a little less than 15 pounds, and uh, I just think that this is a great unit for, for the money they're asking for it. Uh, for people who are going to be car camping or again that that overnight camp out with the niece and nephew in the backyard or or uh, tailgating at, at uh, sports events you know going out to the park for the afternoon you've got about enough room to do about six burger patties 
or about as much room as you'd need for four pretty nice steaks. And speaking of that, I think we'll throw a steak a on here. Big steak on here that's been marinating all day. And uh, we'll get an idea how this thing does cooking. Okay, uh, the steak I have on here is now done just uh, right around medium. And what I found is that uh, the cook surface seems to be very evenly heated. I'm pretty impressed with how even the temperature seems to be across the whole surface. Uh, do, the heat spreaders do, a, the flame tamers they call them, the heat spreaders do a really good job. Uh, I really like these two 8,000 BTU burners that do not overwhelm the cook box. I like that quite a bit. Uh, I like, you know, the fact that this thing weighs less than 15 pounds, so it's easy to take with you tailgating out to the park, car camping, and etc. I like that it hooks to a regular uh, propane tank because if you've ever used one-pound tanks for for cooking. Uh, you know, you don't get nearly as far as you hope you're going to with a one pound tank. Um, you know, this thing looks nice, it works nice, it's made out of durable material. Uh, the only feature it's missing is a built in thermometer, and you can overcome that with a surface thermometer or a, uh, you know, a meat thermometer, depending on what you're cooking. So overall, this gets a great big thumbs up from me. I, I think that this is very worthwhile. You find this exact one at Home Depot. I think that Next Grill makes, uh, makes this sort of thing for other box stores. It may not have the exact same branding on it if you find it somewhere else. Um, again, there will be a link down in the description to where you can get one of these. Uh, and I think it's very, very worthwhile. This is going to end up on, you know, my highly recommended gear list. So I really appreciate the time you folks spend watching my videos. You know, you're very kind to me with all your time. I know some of these go a little long. Uh, this particular item is a little bit outside the things I normally show you. But I think it's very, very worthwhile because, you know, even... For those of us who think that we spend most of our outdoor time, you know, way out in the woods or, or off on the lake or, you know, out in the rainforest or wherever we happen to be, I think that most of us with uh, regular lives have other reasons to get outdoors, you know, take the kids to the park for the afternoon, have that overnight camp out in the backyard with the nieces and nephews, uh, go tailgating at, you know, at an event. So. Uh, you know, again, I really appreciate your time. I appreciate the views. If this information was useful to you, give me a thumbs up down there. I, I sure appreciate those. YouTube likes to see those. I struggle with the uh, self-promotion aspect of YouTube, but if you'll help me out with that, you know, that means a lot to me. Um, if this you know if you aren't currently a subscriber you know consider clicking that subscribe button down there on the other side across from that like button uh, the more subscribers I have the more YouTube might think about uh, you know showing my videos to other people okay that's it that's it we've come to the end of this I'm going to uh, take my dinner off of this grill and we're all done. That's what I've got to say about this. This is a great little grill, and for the price, you just can't beat it. Okay, that's it. I hope the rest of your day goes really, really well, and bye-bye now.